Okay, we're going to be drawing hair from different angles and different, different lengths and different styles. We're going to be laying down darks in the direction that the hair is growing. So we're not worried about drawing the individual hair strands. We just want to draw in the darks, the midtones. Once you've established the darks and blended it out, reestablish the darks and start pulling out the highlights and start building it up. I find using a harder eraser works for me a little better for pulling out highlights than a softer eraser like a putty eraser or a needleable eraser. You want to get a smooth transition between dark and light so you have to put your, put your pencil strokes down, blend them out, um, pull your highlights out and work uh, from dark to light, light to dark, uh, until you get that, that smooth transition going. So it doesn't matter what the hairstyle is, the technique's the same, uh, but the lighting changes, where you place the darks change, and uh, you have to be aware of that. So you just have to keep adding pencil strokes to bring up the volume of the hair. To make hair look real, you have to you have to build it up in layers. So you have to establish your darks, uh, bl blend them out, pull out your highlights, and keep working it back and forth like that. So when you draw hair, you want to think of it as you're drawing in initially um, one big mass rather than drawing individual strands. And you lay your darks down uh, and and you blend it out, uh, and then you start picking uh, the highlights out where you want it, going in the direction that the hair is growing. <clears throat> so with this technique, you draw with your eraser. Uh, you're not just you're not you're not just erasing. You're drawing with the eraser. You're pulling. Uh, you're creating the lighting with your eraser. So we're always starting off with the darks and and blending it out. You could overwork hair. That could happen. Uh, you got to know when to leave it alone, but uh, that that comes from experience and learning from making you know your mistakes. So here we are reestablishing the darks, blending it out, lifting out the highlights. I really like using um, this eraser for drawing hair. It uh, it really works for me. Um, I like how you can get these uh, really sharp highlights, and if you um, ease up on your touch, you can get some subtle highlights too. So even when you're pulling out the highlights of your hair, you 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 need to pay attention to the way the hair is growing as you pull your highlights out. So the whole time you're working with hair, you want to think about it as one big mass with layers to it most of the time. You've got hair 
going un underneath hair, you've got hair overlapping other hair. Okay, so this hair uh, is going to be some long hair, with lots of layers. It's going to be a pretty good example to look at. There's a lot of curves to it. So your pencil strokes are going to be long. And uh, right now, we're setting up some layers. So uh, we're setting up light overlapping the dark. So that's going to make it look like it's overlapping. So when you're drawing hair, you got to learn to loosen up. Hair, especially long hair, could be very free-flowing and loose. And you want to you want to get that down with your pencil strokes. When using uh, blending stumps or tortillons, it's nice to start off with a semi-clean one, or um, or if you can clean yours up, sand it off. So hopefully I've done enough examples, drawn enough examples here for you to understand how to draw hair for yourself so you can go off and, and, and start uh, picking out uh, pictures of hairstyles that you like that you can use to practice off of. So if, if you're going to draw hair larger, like maybe like like a big space of, of let's you're drawing a portrait or something like that and it's, it's it's a big portrait and you need a lot of space you might have to bring in like a needleable eraser uh, a larger eraser uh, to cover more ground but but uh, having a nice hard eraser like this gives you those nice sharp highlights so you probably would need to work with both uh, if you were working larger So we're pretty much putting the finishing touches on this hair, going from darks to blending to pulling out highlights. So we're pretty much wrapping it up here. Hopefully you like these demos. Like, subscribe, and share, and have a good one.